What's up guys, D-Boogie here for the year-end review. It's August, the students are coming back to town, and it's time to put a cap on. Let's see what we did. <laughs> so this is actually a Johnny Rowe remix. I was at work one day called or texted my buddy, I was like, send me a 60s, one of your 60s favorites, you know? And I'm gonna remix it. And this is what happened. I was like, there are about 12 key changes. There are about 12 key changes in this song. What am I supposed to do with this? So I was like, okay, well, I'm long overdue for doing a New Orleans bounce style remix. So I took, um, yeah, I took a real common bounce beat and threw them together, threw them together. So, saw what I could do. And honestly, I think it was fun. I enjoyed it. It probably took me like two hours. And, yeah, I don't know. It was a good experience. I also built the template so now I can like do other bounce songs if I really want to. Um, I've actually done it with a couple other songs. Some of them don't work quite right if the tempos um, don't align. But yeah. Recently did a sad vocal piano cover of some Arlo Parks music. I do love my like British UK soul. It was a good exercise. A little bit boring, but the hook, the piano hook is actually kind of catchy. So um, also check out Arlo Parks because she's dope. Oh yeah, so we met this cat, uh, actually while I was in Flint, hanging out, um, uh, dude named Deontay, he plays guitar, does his stuff, and, um, yeah, he, you know, I, I extend a welcome to a lot of different musicians, and some people, uh, some people actually come and hang, and he was one of them, I was, he was very, had a lot of enthusiasm for his music and stuff, and it was a lot of fun. So it was just kind of fortunate to run into him. Um, actually, at Tenacity Brewing in Flint, so shout out to them. They also got a location in Detroit. Yeah. And yeah, shout out to Deontay. So. <laughs> But yeah, I went to Chicago with uh, Yvonne, um, got to see some of his neighborhood, um, some of his family, and we shot a little acapella in his neighborhood, that was kind of fun, um, yeah, kind of casual, but also kind of give people a little chance to hear those vocals, a little bit cleaner. <laughs> okay, so this was like a little Calypso kind of cover. I stuck my head out the window and was uh, just getting some fresh air, and then I actually heard uh, a car ride by playing uh, Mood by 24 Karat Golden, and um, my buddy was also playing, Chuck was also playing a B. And I was like, hold up, hold up. We gotta mash this up. <laughs> and I've actually had some people be like, yeah, I like it better than the original. It's way slowed down, but it's also just kind of like, it's it's just a different style. It's just a different take. I always I always like the, um, the lyric cadence in that song. It wasn't like necessarily my favorite songs, but I always liked the lyric cadence, and so it was kind of fun to do it in a different style. So. But yeah, chill pepper, right? Chill pepper. Back in April, we did a little jam night. Uh, 3D Von was there. We did some improv. 
There's some electronic beats on, also some acoustic beats and stuff. We also got uh, bass and guitar thrown in, just doing some you know, mashups, see what happened kind of stuff. It was a good evening. It was a good evening. <laughs> so going back to March, um, did some did some improv vocals with Tim. Uh, yeah, just throwing around some vocal harmonies and vocal, um, really just kind of like feeling that voice, almost less about the lyrics, actually a lot less about the lyrics and a lot more just about how we were feeling because of uh, how we were singing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good to just throw those vocals out there every once in a while. Good for the soul, you know. Especially if you can get someone who can like throw it back at you, it's always close. It's always close. Yeah, nah, not exactly about the lyrics. <laughs> No matter what, still deep in love and love, love with you. Ooh.